Today, I want to teach you that when readers read nonfiction, they don't only read keywords and learn information. They start to use keywords to think and talk about the topic. In that way, the reader begins to own the language of the text. I'm going to show you what this looks like using the book Tigers. I'm going to skim a few pages looking for keywords. While I do this, I want you to do the same. I know that tiger is a keyword, and I think that cat is a keyword as well, and maybe even wild. Um, tigers are big cats, and it says they live in the wild, so if the book is going to at all talk about where the tiger is living, wild could definitely be a keyword. So now that I have a few key words, I'm going to talk about the page. So tigers are big cats. They aren't pets that live in your house, though. They live in the wild. Readers, do you see how I skimmed the page and found a few key words? Then when I talked about the page, I used those key words. That helps me to own the talk of my topic. Readers, I want you to try this. This page seems to be mostly about describing what the tiger looks like. I want you to do a quick skim of the page and jot down some of the key words that you might use when you talk. Are these some of the words that you wrote down? Tiger, stripes, teeth, claws. Take a few minutes to talk about this page and make sure that you're using those key words as you talk. Readers, you've learned so much about talking the talk of your books. You aren't just the kind of readers who talk the talk of your books and topics. You are actually walking the walk. That means you are really knowledgeable about your topics and starting to own your words. It's one thing to talk the talk, but it's even bigger and better when you can walk the walk, when you can teach others all you've learned. And of course, you're going to want to walk the walk in your books as well. So off you go, readers. Readers, go read.